no, 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 no. You can't, you can't. You don't understand. We need to keep it as evidence, okay? People won't believe our story. They won't believe our story. They, they won't think it. They're gonna think it's us. They won't think it's this. They need to see it. I don't fucking care anymore. I'm not going down for this. I'm not going down for this. I'm not going down for this. They won't know that it's this. They're gonna think it's us. Do you understand? That thing is pure evil. It needs to die. I know. I know. I know. I can't go down for this. They need to see it. They need to see it with their own eyes. No, don't leave me here, don't leave me! Don't leave me here with it! Can't help me. Go, I gotta go.
all is looking perfectly healthy with the baby and exactly as it should do at this stage in the pregnancy. Feels great. Lane was saying, well, sorry, Lane, you were saying that she's getting cravings for sweet things and personally i wouldn't eat those kind of things when pregnant i just feel like the baby's essentially going to come out crying and craving these you know like a drug addiction like smoking wouldn't you agree <laughs> lisa a little bit of sugar isn't going to harm the baby lisa it's perfectly normal for child carriers to have cravings and trust me they can vary wildly i really wouldn't worry about it as long as lane's taking care of herself yeah lisa it's gonna be fine don't worry on the other hand Who'd like to see a copy of the latest baby scan? I thought you'd probably like a copy each. There you go. Please, try to stay relaxed. And I'm always on the other end of the phone. Actually, about that, I was hoping we could keep everything under the group chat that I created. That way I know everything that's going on and, you know, it's all in one place. Is that OK? Group chat it is. this is inside of me like right now a little person inside are you sure you don't want to know the sex of the baby no i think it's better as a surprise right well i mean we could decorate the room accordingly mm. uh, sis sorry um you don't mind waiting right no of course if that's what you guys want then sure great well wait Hey, how come Mom didn't come today? Uh, she's just sorting something out. Sorting what out? A little surprise. What sort of surprise? Well, how about we get going and you can find out? <laughs> I don't get it. Is this your new house or something? <laughs> it's, uh, your new home. What? Look, it's just a rental, but we thought it was perfect for the final hurdle. You won't have to be sleeping at Mum's, you get your own space, nothing to worry about. How does that sound? <laughs> um, I, I can't quite believe it. Thank you. That's the least we could do. Hey, you haven't even seen inside yet. Mum's apparently given it a good clean, come on. to church. Stunning, right? And plus, this way God can protect you both. Okay, I know I'm OTT, but I'm not crazy. We just thought that this would be a wonderful place for the final weeks of pregnancy. Lane? Mom? Is that you? Mom? Mom? Oh, isn't it beautiful? It is. And it's so incredibly thoughtful. Come on, let's have a group hug. Come on, group hug, everyone. Oh, get in. <laughs> get in, get in. Oh, guys, John, you're squeezing me so tight. What? Oh, John, the baby might not like it. <laughs> Three pounds. Oh. And the telephone? I'll do you both for ten. We'll have it. Phone will be handy in a new place. Wait, Mom, I already have a cell phone. I really don't need a landline. Of course you do. I don't trust those things. What if you go into labor? Your phone dies. Your signal goes. Think of all those horror films you watch. How many times it happens to those poor young models? Well, Saluki Lisa already said she doesn't want you using that thing much for the baby's sake. She is so overboard sometimes. <laughs> she means well. You know, yesterday we went out for lunch, and she basically picked out what I was having and then spoon-fed me. That's her all over.
If you see anything you need or want for the flat, let me know. I will take you into town and get you new stuff, but because it's just the temp place, don't want to waste money. But you know me, when you get a proper home, I will sort you out. When are you getting a proper place? Oh, God. How did I know that was coming? Don't avoid the question. Come on, tell your mother. I don't know. Christ, I didn't think I'd be carrying my stepbrother and his wife's baby a year ago. I don't know what tomorrow holds. I mean, I thought I'd still be with Daniel. Has he tried to get a hold of you? Let's not talk about it. If I see that boy, he will get a mouthful out of me. Stop. It's over now. Lane, look at this. He's weird, isn't he? <laughs> yes. It's quite unique to get one this size, human size. He's over four foot tall when he stands up. Wow. Where'd you get him? <laughs> well, he doesn't actually belong to us. We, uh, we acquired him about a week ago. But I know that he's going to sell very quick, because it's very rare to get a doll this size. It'd be a lovely gift for your baby. How much is he? Make me an offer. Um. <laughs> Come on. I, I I don't know how much they usually cost. Um. Come on. Fifty. Done. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. No haggling? No haggling. It's not about money. It's about giving him a good home. I know he's going to have a good home with you. Looks like you're coming with me. Give the poor thing nightmares. I think it's nice. I would have liked it when I was younger. <laughs> but I don't think a lot of other boys and girls used to stay up late to watch The Exorcist like you used to. Well, no one should be afraid of clowns. It'll be fine. You smell of fire. Hey, Mom. 
Uh, do you think if I put that doll's clothes in the wash, they're going to shrink? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Okay. No problem. Thanks. Bye. As good as you're gonna get. Mom has been so crazy lately. Like, she made me install this landline in my home, and I keep forgetting where I put the phone down, and it's ridiculous. Alicia's signal doesn't cut out for two seconds, right? I know. Old technology, hey? What were we thinking? I can't believe they just rented you a flat. That is so generous. It's pretty great, yeah. And yet you don't sound happy. I am. But? I am. Do they know that you started to think about the baby in ways that you shouldn't? Of course not. And I'm not telling them either. I, I mean, I, I, I think it's normal. I, I think it's something your hormones do. I. I, th I think it's perfectly natural to be having these feelings and desires when carrying a child. Do you want to keep the child? That's not fair. That's not an answer. Jamie, I gotta go. <sighs> Lane, if you want this baby, you should figure it out before it arrives. Jamie, I know the answer. The baby is theirs. It isn't mine. It's theirs. I'll come see you tomorrow. Just chill, all right? Chat tomorrow. All right, see you then. trying to get through for the last hour. Daniel? Hey, Lane. How did you get this what? number? You thought you could just ghost me forever, no. huh? But I don't think we're good for each other anymore. You made the decision all on your own, or did your mum help you? Stop it. Look, I don't think it's fair for you to be calling like me like this. I don't think it's right. I need you to respect my decision. Oh, come on. You never were one to make your own decisions anyway. Why are you lame? Look, I, I don't want you to contact me anymore. If you call me again, I will call the police. I mean it. I asked you not to use this number again. Oh, uh, sorry. Oh, ah, uh, sorry. I thought you were someone else. No worries. So how's it going? Uh, this is Lane. I'm not sure if you have the wrong number. Mm, looks like I do. No worries. Have a good night. What are you up to? Uh... Sorry? I'm uh, just making conversation. I mean, you sound nice. I'm lonely, not up to much, so. This is so random. Do you not want to get through to the right person? No, sorry, we got up in something. Yeah, uh, I kind of am. Okay. I see. Well, have a good night. Oh, and I um, hope you reach the right woman.
This is Lane. Now, if you were actually in the middle of something, I think you would have made it pretty clear from the start. You're pretty confident. Oh, sorry, what? No, I'm just thinking. If someone was really caught up, then surely they wouldn't have had time to chat how we just did. You're very confident, aren't you? Mm, why's that? J just calling me back like this. How did you know I'd answer? Something in your voice. Is that so? You've got a pretty warm, inviting voice. I got the feeling you wanted me to go back. Your voice isn't so bad either. I just finished watching a horror movie. Uh, so you caught up in the middle of something. Yeah, well, you know, those horror movies, they're really something. How about you? What are you up to? I'm uh, just sitting alone right now. Not much. Well, how about you go do something? Don't feel like it. You? Why doesn't a friendly lady like yourself just go out? I'm sure that you've got a lot of friends. <laughs> well, I'm... Uh, watching a movie because I'm feeling really under the weather. Uh, now watching a film does sound like the perfect plan. You know, I, I really should go. But it was nice talking. You sure? Yeah, chat soon. Yeah, is that an invitation to go back? Sure. Stranger. Really winning, Lane. Oh my god, Jamie! <laughs> I can't believe it! I know. Oh. Yes, so we get to this restaurant and he was acting all smitten, like his eyes were completely puppy dog. So I'm thinking, what is going on or what is about to happen? Well, did you suspect at all that it was a proposal? Oh my God, no, not at all. We always said we just saw marriage as a contract. It's never been something we've looked at in a romantic light. But he goes and asks me, and I had this rush come over me, and I was like, yes! Oh my oh, God. Oh, Jamie, that is so cute. <laughs> well, you know me. At the beginning, I wasn't set. But I think he's earned his stripes now, especially at the drinking. And going out has died down. <laughs> well, do you have any idea when you want the wedding to be? Yes. Really? Summer of next year. I want a beautiful thing going on. Stunning outside do. Not really into churches. As you know, the lighting is not the best. Um, excuse me. The lighting is amazing. <sighs> but, you know, I think outside will work best. Okay, then. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so... Um, you want to be my bridesmaid? Of course. <laughs> Come here. <laughs> Thank you. Great. <laughs> as soon as that baby's out of you, we can go celebrate. <laughs> okay. I have something for you. You do? Uh-huh. Oh Come God. with me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Come with me. Cool. Oh. Sorry. Start you off. Mm -hmm. Something old. <laughs> Isn't this from graduation? It is. Oh, I know you lost yours, so I thought that this would be perfect. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> What's up? Um, I have something to tell you. Hit me. Daniel called. Lane, what would you mean he called? Last night, I don't know how, um, <laughs> but somehow he got this number and he called. What did he say? Not much. Have you told anyone else? No. Just you. Lane, he's not safe. You need to ensure the point has to be made and that he backs off. Now, what the hell is that ugly ass thing? 
<laughs> it's not funny. Why do you own that? Oh, I got it the other day. <laughs> it's second hand. Oh, yeah, of course it's second hand. Better watch you don't get scabies from that thing. Oh, one sec. Say cheese. Face only a mother could love. Oh. Hello? Yep, this is she. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, thanks for letting me know. Sure thing, I'll tell them. Thanks. Okay, bye-bye. That face. What? You're up to something. What was that about? I'm having a girl. Oh! That's exactly what you said you wanted it to be. Great for them. It is. So why'd you do it to yourself? Why did you find out? I thought you said they wanted it as a surprise. Why did you find out? I thought you want. I thought they were fine with you giving them the baby. I don't. I don't know. Don't lie to me. Look, I was. Just, I was just curious, you know. Don't lie to me. I'm gonna tell them. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm gonna tell them right now to prove this isn't a thing, because this is the kind of thing that they should know, not me. Look, you don't have to prove anything to me, you know that, right? Yeah, I know. Look, if you want to tell them, then tell them. I do. You coming? Mm. Come on. I can't. Yeah. Oh, no, you can. I've got to go back and sort some of this weirdness stuff out. <sighs> okay, <laughs> fine, I'll let that one slide. <laughs> okay, I'll allow it this time. But you know you can call me whenever, right? Yeah. It's just because I live the other side of London <laughs> now doesn't mean I'm not here. Thank you. Well, that's the one thing about this flat, that it wasn't the other side of London. <laughs> <laughs> so true. Okay, yeah. come on. Let's go. Oh, and if he calls back... so much for everything you've done for me. You and Lisa, I... Getting me a new loft? I really, really appreciate it. I mean, living with mom was getting so... Hey, <laughs> you don't have to tell me. I mean, she means well, but my God! She can drive a person crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, thank you for getting me my own space. Please stop. Thank you. It's me that should be thanking you. I mean, me and Lisa will forever be in debt to you for what you've done for us. You know, when we found out that Lisa couldn't 
carry a child, it was just so unexpected, you know? And for you to stand up and say, especially after everything you've been through with your ex, to say that you would take this on for us, well, I just, I am the luckiest stepbrother in the world. Go. Josh, leave your message and I'll get back to you. Hey, Josh, call me. I'm, I'm creeped out. Sorry. 
Yeah, totally fine. Yeah. You're all good though, right? Great, I'm great. Yeah. Hello? Hello? Anyone there? Hello. I'm sorry, if anyone's there, I really can't hear you. Remember me? I do indeed. Wrong number again? Something like that. Something like that, huh? So, where do you live? I'm close by. How do you know where I live? You have the same area code oh. as mine. So, what's your name? Lane, yours? Lane, what a pretty name. Thanks. My name is Oliver. Sorry, one sec. Lane. Jamie? Jamie, you here? 
Sorry, but there is no number listed for the previous caller. Jamie with you? No, she's not here. She hasn't come home. No one has seen her. Do you know where she went after she left your home? No. Oh, I, I, she um, told me she was going home. She's engaged, so she wanted to sort out some stuff for that. Do you know who with? Josh, I assume. Josh explains he didn't see her all day. Um, sorry. What's going on here? Are you accusing me of something? Wow, wow, wow. Big words. No one's accusing anyone of anything yet. We just want to find Jamie and bring her home. Hi, it's me. You have got to stop leaving that key in plain sight for anyone to find. Us what? Front door key. Can't just leave it under the mat anymore. You leave your front door key under the mat. Sorry, what's this all about? Your daughter was the last person to see Jamie Chambers, so we just want to find her and bring her home. I'm just here taking everything in. Look, I told you that I left the house, Jamie left with me, and then I went to my brother's boxing club. You can ask him. But her phone was left in your house. Look, can we just wrap this up? <laughs> Unless you want to charge her with something. I don't want the stress while she's pregnant. Thank you. See yourself out. I had something to do with this. You know how the police are. You've seen those TV shows. Love, look, they aren't gonna do anything, all right? All this stress and panic. I don't think it could be any good for you, okay? The questions that she was asking me, the way that she was looking at me. Yeah, that's the police all over, huh? They have to get to the bottom of it, and you were the last one to see her, but. Without any evidence, they can't just convict. I just, I don't get where she's gone. Look, I am sure she is more than likely to just turn up. It will all be okay, Lane. Listening, all of it will work out. And you know Jamie. She probably went late night shopping or something. Look, 
you are going to need to calm down. It will all be okay, Lane. You need to just calm down. You cannot be living like this. Not while pregnant. You just need to sleep this off and in the morning I will come over and make sure you're all right. Sorry, I'm kind of in the middle of something. Uh, could you maybe call me back? Don't you want to talk? So, uh, something came up. Sorry, maybe in like an hour or so. Are you okay? Yeah, I, um, my friend has gone missing. Uh, I'm sure it's nothing, but the police came over. Well, I hope that she's okay. Uh, can we can we chat later, please? Sure. Thanks. Talk soon. Bye. Bye. Who was that? It was no one. Please tell me that wasn't Daniel. That man even tried to contact you. Mom, calm down. It was not Daniel. Who else was it? Just a guy. He calls the house sometimes. I think he said his name was Oliver or something. <laughs> Where did you meet this Oliver? I haven't met him. He just, he got the wrong number, called the house, and we got to talking. What? Why are you looking at me like that? Oh, for God's sake, Lane. You can't just be having random conversations with strangers on the phone. What? It's, it's the same as talking to anyone on the street. Like, anyone. I, how is this any different? If anything, it's safer. You need to stop talking to him. It's weird. It's, it's not normal. I need you to stop babying me. I'm a freaking adult now. I have, I have a kid in me. Well, I, you know, I, just talk, I need to sleep. I need to sleep. I'm sorry. Can you go, please? Lane. You know, I, I really, I need you to go. Look, I, I think you're right. I think I just need rest. I think the baby needs rest. So I will feel better tomorrow. If you go, and we'll chat then, okay? Thank you. I love you. Please go. Well, thanks for asking oh. me about my day. No, just, just have a bath or something. You'll feel better. Uh -huh. Love you. Bye. I am Sarah Cohen, your reader for tonight, so please sit back, crack open the wine, and fall deep into another world. This is the third in the series, but fear not for any newcomers. You don't need to know what has happened in the previous books. Now before we get going, here is the classical song to get our minds fresh and ready. I think tomorrow morning we all need to be around her. 
She had some policewoman there when I arrived. That's just normal procedure. It is. She was questioning her. Like asking her things, sort of accusing her. And yet he gave her a piece of my mind. I mean, what woman would start questioning a pregnant lady about her best friend's disappearance? Jamie was last seen in her place. That means nothing. Ain't good for her to fly. Honest. Look, Mom, it's late, and Lisa's in bed. I'll call you in the morning, okay? We have got to be there for her, John. If she starts getting worked up again, or, or starts using that medication again. I know. I'm on it. I'll check you in the morning, okay? All right. Love you, baby. Love you, Mom. Night. Oh, um, how was the date? Uh, don't even go there. I'll tell you all about it tomorrow. Night. Welcome back to the great wonders of the Night Book Club. A place for all the things you can to make peace, sit back, and unwind to a delicious story. Tonight's story is S.J. Chambers, The Lady Who Recited. A dark, lustful book. Now let's get reading. The wind caught her hair as she sighted him. Could it be him? The man that had been watching, waiting, praying for a day where she would be alone. Alone and vulnerable. She took a deep, harsh breath when she realized it. A scream echoed. He was killing her. She was no more. Hey, Mom, it's me. Um, I'm just wondering if you came back last night. Uh, yeah, the door was left open. I assume you're on your way over anyway, but just uh, let me know. Thanks. Bye. Mom? Oh. Hey, I thought you were 
someone else. Hey, are you okay? We don't really have anyone to call to talk to. What happened? What did you do? Oliver. <laughs> hey, look, Oliver, um... Look, I'm sure whatever you did, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> it is. Sure, that it's me you want to be calling about this. Uh, what did you just say? I killed someone playing with my bare hands. Oh, Oliver, um, <laughs> uh, you should call the police. No. I need to call you. I wanted to tell you what I had no. done. Oliver, if you killed someone, you need to call the police. It, it wasn't the first time. I've done it before, Lane. It wasn't an accident? No. Oliver? You need to call the police. Never call this number again, okay? Don't call go. the police, okay? No, don't go or I can't tell you how I killed your mother. Did you just... Just confess to murdering your mother. I did. My... My mom, she... Who is this? Is this a prank? Are you a friend of Daniel's? Oliver Reed, I told you my name already. You're sick! You have a pretty smile, Lane. I'm calling the police. They're not gonna catch me. Never could. Your mother, Dee, she was last seen with you. Yeah, she, she was at mine. After you left, she went home. You say the front door was left open when you woke. I, I didn't know if she'd let herself in. I wasn't sure. So your mother left your home with the spare key? Yeah, she had it. Look. I'm sure there's some reasonable explanation for all this. She's probably out shopping or something. You say you had a caller who confessed to murder. This is bullshit. There are no records of any phone calls coming in or out of your phone line in any of the times that you say. Well, he called here a few times, so if they're not on there, you're setting me up. John, help me. Lane, calm down, please, all right? Look, there are no records on here of this Oliver ever calling you. What are you doing? His name. I told you his name. You did, and? Well, I bet you didn't look it up. We sure did. Lane.
The name you gave, a serial killer who died in 2001, murdering a bunch of young women. All in the same age range as Jamie. So you're saying Oliver Reed rose from the dead and went on a murder hunt. He's dead, Miss Porter. He is dead, okay? So can you please tell us what you know? Because this is beginning to look incredibly suspect right about I now. I have told you everything! You have told us nothing but fairy tales. Call us from the dead. A friend goes missing and leaves her phone in your house. We checked her phone records and the last outgoing call was made inside your home. A voice recording was found and her boyfriend's voicemail, and she sounded very distressed inside your home. So we have no reason to believe that your mother has had any suspicious behaviors until you tell us this elaborate story about a dead serial killer confesses to murdering her. And now she can't be traced. Look, um, could you give us some time, please? I'll see myself out. I gave you some water. few of those pills and it set her off like it did last time. And if she's taking them with our baby inside of her? <sighs> Look, babe, I know, but just calm down. Does she, does she know about the pills? No. Okay, good. So then just get rid of them, okay? Yeah. Listen, I'll stay the night, okay? I'll just, I'll make sure that she feels safe. And I just think that you two keep fighting. It's just not helping anything. No, I'm not angry. I know, I know. You're just worried, all right? I get it. It's stressful. Just being on top of each other like this isn't going to help anyone. And it's just not healthy, okay? Look, I know Mum will be okay and she'll turn up. Yeah? Yeah. Lane, we just thought that... You're staying the night? I heard everything. And you know what, John? I'm not taking the pills. And secondly, it isn't like last time. What the hell are you thinking? What, was it Daniel? Is he back in the picture? Daniel has no idea where I live. You've got to start talking to us, Lane. We're here to help you. We're not the enemy. And while you have our baby inside of you, you got to look after yourself. You got that? Your baby? The baby is inside me. Oh. It isn't your baby. It's mine. And if you keep, if you keep going the way you're going, I will be keeping it. Just please, please stop, Lane, all right? Look, we're just getting caught up in the moment and things are being said that aren't meant. They're not meant, Lane, okay? They're not meant, right? Yes, they are. They are. You know, I've been considering keeping the baby. Please, Lane, no. You know that, right? I gotta get out of here. John, wait. I did consider keeping the baby, but it's yours. She is yours. She. I found out the sex the other day. You're having a girl. <laughs> I'm 
baby girl. She's yours. A baby girl. Thank you so much. Thank you. You know John wanted a boy, right? <laughs> of course. <laughs> I'm so glad I'm having a girl. Mm -hmm. That could be mom. Not many people have this number. Hello? Hello, mom? Guess again. Are you having fun finding me? Lane? 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 Who are you? Oliver. Oh. I already told you my name. Oliver Reed. And I already told you my name. No, you are not. Oliver. You're not Oliver. Stop lying. Give me the phone. Hello, who is this? Hello? Lane, there's no one on the phone. Yes, there is. No, there isn't. There, this should knock you out, Hunt. I wouldn't normally give you it, but I just feel like you really need some rest, okay? I'll be in the other room if you need me. I feel like I'm losing my mind. You really didn't hear anything. Just get some rest, okay? No, no, I promise. No, there's no sign of anything else. John, there was no one on that phone. It was like she was talking to herself. Right now, we just need to keep an eye out on Lane. I gave her a sleeping pill, by the way. It just kind of paralyzes your body and sends you into a deep sleep. I feel like she could really do with the rest, you know? We haven't got long till baby's due, and when she's out, we can sort Lane out properly. John, she found out the sex of the baby. We're having a baby girl. I know. Isn't it great? No, I know. But I think leave it tonight, babe. Come by in the morning, maybe? And I'm sure after a good night rest, she will be back to normal. Okay, sleep well, babe. Love you too. Night.
Adios to you. See ya. What the hell is going on? 
Why isn't he clear under the door now? The police are not to be leaving ways of entry. Where's Lisa? He's not here either. Please, you gotta talk to me. Where is Lisa? I feel like I'm losing my mind. Aiden, talk to me. Where is she? Her stuff is here. Where is she? Okay, I, I'm gonna ask you one more time, eh? You gotta tell the truth. Don't lie to me. Huh? Tell the truth. Are you taking the medication again? Are you having blackouts like before? These pills are messing with your head, Lane. I'm not taking them, John. You're lying to me. You wanted I'm... to keep the baby. You were having regrets and you wanted to take it from me. No, no. I... No? No, that was, that was just something I said. I... But you had to go and find out the sex of the baby without us. I, I didn't. Where are the meds? Lane, where are they? I'm gonna find him. John? something. Don't oh, prove to me I'm not crazy. You to prove I'm not crazy.
Please, please. Connecting you now. down the knife. are on their way. I found, I found the bodies, Lane. What? No. What you did. But well, right now we gotta focus on the baby. to make sure that my baby is okay.
Tell on the first floor. It's gonna be a girl. 